to all who are watching tell me, what's the difference between this picture and this picture? They're the same picture. Fourth quarter yelling, why the fuck Batum in? Really? Team kicks it back out. Healed looking, Batum, no hesitation. Another! Quick to the basket, misses the lefty. Oh, Batum! What a tip in from Nick Batum! Here goes Hero, fires up, blocked by Batum! Who was on crack? This was a great game, and it didn't look like it'd be that way early on. I saw Embiid out there looking like the Ben Affleck meme. He looked like somebody who just clocked in for a shift and a customer asked him for a specific item that isn't in stock and he says that and they say, well, could you check in the back? There were multiple plays where he just stood there, had his hands on his knees. He had his hands on his knees during the pregame warm up. That was not Joel Embiid out there. That was Joe. But even while looking gassed, when his team needed him most, especially in the fourth quarter, he made big time shots. He utilized his size advantage over the Miami Heat. He got the important rebounds he needed to get and he was able to distribute the ball to his teammates as well as making big time shots down the stretch when his team needed him. This reminds me when Pip was on the Bulls, we still don't call that man by his name here, and he had a back injury and he was basically just out there to be a decoy. Now, even though he's heavily diminished, he was still a threat because you can't take your eye off of him. That's still Pip at the end of the day. And B did the same thing. That was highly commendable what he showed out there on the court tonight. Now, can he get in proper conditioning when they face New York? Is he going to look more like himself? I should hope so. But he needs more reps. He needs to get back to playing NBA basketball and just get his body used to it after being out for so long. Oh yeah, speaking of pickpocket right here, Jimmy Butler, that man turned into Swiper tonight. Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! You don't guard him with one. You're certainly not going to put Jovic on an island and let him guard him. That'd be like putting J.J. Redick on. <laughs> Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Damn, Doris committing murder on national television? Doris is hilarious. Why she do JJ like that? JJ got hit with shrapnel for no reason. Get up! You got this shit! Get up! I was very worried when that happened. I can imagine Miami Heat fans were just holding their breaths as if their soul left their body. Luckily, he was able to stay in the game. But he didn't really do shit as he came back. So I don't know, are you hobbled? Are you injured? Five for 18 on the floor, two for nine from three. And then you've got Bam only scoring 10 points. Are you there just to defend Joe? Two bad performances. And like I said, in the beginning of this game, Miami Heat was killing them with that zone. And with Embiid not being himself and especially absent in the first half i was thinking miami heat would just cruise on to a victory especially given the fact that the 76ers as a team are two for 14 when trailing by 10 or more points at half it just wasn't looking good and at one point in the game they were like five for 23 from three i was honestly not expecting them to be able to turn this game around especially against a miami heat team the heat aren't somebody that you can just do that to miami heat isn't really the type of team that folds under no pressure but once again the miami heat have somewhat of the same problem that they had last year you just don't have enough talent on this team you don't have enough offensive firepower with a hobbled halved Embiid, a nerfed Embiid, this team was able to take you the distance and with him starting to come alive here and there and pick his spots where he can just be the most effective, imagine if he was 100%. I don't think their zone would have been able to do much against an Embiid just like it couldn't do much against a Jokic. Now I think it would be far more effective even if Embiid was himself this game, it would still do damage to the 76ers overall offense because Embiid can't do the same things that Jokic does. He can't hurt you in so many different ways that Jokic can. But in one of the main ways that he hurts you is just utilization of his size and his scoring ability. And the Miami Heat don't have a player like that. And they don't really have somebody to deal with Embiid if he was himself. And since he wasn't himself, you had many others on the roster for the 76ers having to step up to share the burden being primarily Batum Stone. This man, I don't know what got into him. He had bath salts during halftime or something, and he came out just a fiend. 
a demon on both sides of the floor, including this play where he was able to force Tyler Hero to put his foot on the line. Now, he did push him a little bit, but that pressure, that presence that he established, just a pest on the ball, doing all of these things like that, that, that was beautiful. That was great. He was easily the MVP of this game. They need to rename this team Philadelphia Batums. Another thing I really liked about this game was how physical it was and the lack of referee nonsense and buffoonery getting involved in the game, disrupting the flow. This felt like a game of old until the refs had to remind everyone, we're still here, guys. We're relevant. Look at us. Look at this. They gave Batum a delay of game. Just because of that little touch of the ball he made when it came out of the hoop. The delay of game call itself was a delay of game. Why they feel the need to insert themselves in situations where they aren't needed and aren't called for is beyond me. But that's never going to get addressed or fixed. They're just going to keep being horrible and bad year in and year out. Miami Heat are a beautifully coached team with a coach in Spolstra who should have gotten a coach of the year at least once. It still surprises me how he's never got one. But what are you going to do about your size issue and your height issue? You haven't addressed it. They remind me of the Warriors in a way when it came to just not doing a damn thing during the offseason. You didn't really address your problems. If you face a team like Denver and you steamroll, you just rip the hearts out of everybody in the East and you get to the finals again. And let's say Denver's in the finals. You're going to suffer the exact same fate that you did last year. Trying harder isn't going to amount to anything when you are clearly inferior. You've got great veterans on this team in Kyle Lowry. You've got Kevin Love. You've got really good, well-rounded players in Jocks Jr., Juan Wick himself. And then you've got Tyler Hero. Oh, Tyler Hero was, I think that man was, wasn't he four for four for 14 from three-point range? Ugh, nasty, gross. This isn't enough. This is not enough to get you over the hump if you're going for a talent for talent basis on some of these teams, let's say now I'm, I really hope this happens. They beat the winner of the Bulls and Hawks game and then they face the Celtics and then they pull off the greatest upset in NBA history. That would be hilarious. But if everyone on the Celtics plays like themselves or they're at least decently themselves, you're going to lose that game, Miami. You would lose against a lot of these teams that have a lot of talent if they just play like themselves. But with today's NBA and people being lesser versions of themselves when you need them most, the Heat can get by. But when are you going to address your talent issue? They need to get somebody this offseason that is a surefire superstar, not fringe stars like Jimmy Butler and Bam out of bio. Like you need somebody. I, I just don't know who that is and where you get them from. It was supposed to be Dame, but even if Dame would have came here and he wasn't doing his mental turmoil thing, would he still be of help to Miami Heat right here? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. The 76ers, however, and them facing New York, that's going to be a great series. If Julius Randle was there, oh, it'd be even better. But I'm very much looking forward to that. I just want both of these teams to still be in the playoffs. The Bulls and the Hawks, I'm going to be honest, I don't. It's like one of them, both of them can get out of here. I need the Miami Heat and the 76ers in these playoffs, though. But if the Hawks can get in there and they can upset the Celtics, too. Oh, by all means, by all means, I'm there for that as well. But tell me what you guys thought about this game below. What did you think about what I have to say? Do you agree or disagree with anything? Like, subscribe if you are new. I want to thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you on the next one.